We gotta do excursions today. So our excursion today consists of swimming with the shark, swimming with stingray, and exploring the coral garden, and we're doing jet ski. So I'm super excited for today. We're all dressed and ready for our excursion, okay? Yeah, we gotta go to the main reception to go wait on the boat to pick us up. Good morning from Bora Bora. Um, that sounds amazing to say, I'm not gonna lie. And looking at this beautiful view, I'm on this beautiful morning. It, it's just, oh man, amazing. So let me show y'all the view, let me show y'all the view. Oh my goodness. That don't, that, that is a postcard, Quita. It sure is, that's so crazy, like, oh my goodness. She been saying it like a postcard all day. So today we got a long, long day. Currently it's probably about 7 a.m. We have an excursion to do later on today. We about to get ready to head to breakfast because apparently breakfast is free. I did not know that. I woke up today and as y'all can see, I'm red. I don't know, this never happened to me before. We done been to all these different tropical places and I never ended up being red. Now my sunburn typically be what my shoulders and my nose be, yeah. but my whole upper half of my body is just red. As y'all can see by my face, this is not my natural skin tone. Quita, she been hollering about, she, she. I am burnt like my shoulders, my head. It's just, I don't know, this heat out here is a different type of heat and it's something we gotta get adjusted to. Because baby, we gotta do excursions today and I just know it's gonna be super, super hot. On the forecast, it got like 95 degrees. So we gotta make sure we sunscreened up. Apparently sunscreen did not work because we've already used the whole bottle and sunscreen is not working. I even put sunscreen on my face and as you can see, I'm. I'm looking like what? Patrick Star. Patrick Star. Yeah. yeah. So our excursion today consists of swimming with the shark, swimming with stingrays, and exploring the coral garden, and we're doing jet ski. So I'm super excited for today. Um, quick Renee, we I ain't gonna lie, this is gonna be a good trip. I'm super excited for today. I never jet ski before. I'm gonna leave swimming with the sharks with Ken because there's something that he always wanna do. I said I'm pretty good on not swimming with sharks and stingrays. I'm gonna just watch from the inside of the boat because baby, I can't do it. I know it's gonna probably be a good experience, but I'm gonna let you have it. But I'm most definitely swimming, I'm gonna most definitely swim with the, what it is, the reef core, the coral reef. I'm gonna do coral. all that and I'm gonna jet ski, so. She got a jet ski. It's only right. But look at these fits today. Come on, Quita. Let them both see your fit. Uh, they gotta wait till we go outside. They gotta sit outside. They gotta see. Uh, yeah. like, She's talking about we gotta wait till we get outside. Good morning, y'all. So it's Quita Renee here, and I'm super excited for today. As Ken told y'all, we doing excursions, and I just cannot wait. Like, what? I think this is the most excursion. No, I feel like two of them, we did a lot, a lot of excursions, okay? And I feel like this trip, a lot, a lot of excursions. Y'all, my edges done rolled up. <laughs> But I ain't tripping though because I just ain't got time. We about to go eat. You ready to go? I am. Cause we got a long day ahead of us. Come on, let's get ready to head out. Come on, I gotta eat my body. I didn't realize. He done turned to Patrick the star. He's cause he told me he was Aquaman. He was all this. So come on, hey, the Aquaman, Aquaman yourself. Look, 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 look. We been um, we actually went snorkeling. Mm-hmm. So he go quit a little bitty mask. You know how face little. Yeah. And then I got this. So. 
You got the big mask, cause you what? You who? I'm big man. You Aquaman. Okay, we need the room key before we get ready and go. It's early, y'all, and the sun is already beaming like boring, boring. The island people, they probably used to this, but me on the other hand, I ain't used to all this heat, baby. It's talking about hot at 7 a.m. Come on now. So we're getting ready to head over to breakfast. As y'all can tell, um, our pitch has toned down because this is like a private resort and it's so quiet we don't hear nobody we don't hear nothing all we hear is water splashing but hey we gotta do the wipe down we gotta do the wipe down Clear it. okay okay all right little vacation wipe down you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna start from the top i'm gonna start from the top so i got these glasses on somebody sent them to me in our p.o box or whatever what it's called can it renegade renegade um, i can see it? on the side maybe the other side oh re regent or okay something. regent so thank you to regent if you're watching i love the glasses went perfect with my vacation outfit so outfit from pretty little things of course, I got some flies from Amazon. My bag from Aldo. I just traded with a free bracelet. This, this ain't all my jewelry because y'all, we have to rush to go. And of course, your girl got her braid. They probably looking a little ass right now because it's supposed to be herming her. The boho don't never last. That ain't herming. It ain't herming. So yeah, this is the fit and the sun is shining on me today, right? All right. You ready, Kenny Mari? I'm ready. Let's go and show them your white day. Classic vacation outfit. Yes. Got me some different glasses. Got me yes. some, some, uh, some jewelry. Okay. Um, I can't wear this too long because it's not real. And I want my neck to turn. Ain't no wrong with that. You still looking handsome. It is going to be something wrong with that if I got a green line on my neck. Mm -hmm. Purple shirt to match Queer Renee. Okay, look at this. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Yeah. <laughs> And just some white shorts and some Zara slides. Okay. I had some bracelets, but they messed up in the water. So they see you see that sun coming coming out. I see that sun. I gotta get away from that sun. Look at me. Yeah. You look good. Go on, go on, walk for one time. Yeah. Yeah. That boy out here in where? In Bora Bora. Yes. Are we the only ones up? Oh yeah, about your breakfast. Let's go to breakfast. Yeah, we got a long little walk. We didn't realize how far. It, oh, look at them! They in the ocean early in the morning. Early, they up early. there. But we got a we got a long little walk. I just had to let y'all know that. So if you come to a bungalow, you know, now you might you might want to tell them get y'all some bikes. Yeah, get y'all a resort with a bike. We ain't got bikes, but the workers do. And watch this. Oh no! Nah. See that? They just they. I didn't know they could have gave us some bikes. Yes, y'all, they so friendly here. Every time a staff or somebody ride past or walk past, they greet us with La Rana. Yeah, La Rana. La Rana, they so nice. Look. Them are. Oh, that's a parrotfish. How much that one go? 5,000, 10,000 probably. You feel the heat all day? I feel the heat. The sun, well, I came to the conclusion that the hottest times of the day are 7, yeah. 7 a.m. from 7 a.m. to uh, like 2 p.m. Oh, yeah. And then it just cool, it just cool off. I've never been nowhere where it's be this hot early. This summer house are beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, look, look at it. Her. Look at it. Oh. Right, we should catch the sunset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunset? Yeah. It's going to be a long day. We got a lot to do. Let's go to breakfast. Come on, baby. We're getting some eggs, y'all. They're a little wet, but it's still going to be. Man, them eggs wet. Yeah, I'm some soup eggs. I'm just going to say that. How much you want? Give me one more scoop, because I'm hungry. Man, okay. I don't know. They might be good. They might be good. Okay, what is it? You want some sausage? No sausage. No sausage? No sausage. It's a little better than they look. What you mean it's a little better? It's like they cook it longer now. So no sausage? No sausage. You want bacon? Yes, yes, yes. Please fill me up with the bacon. You want a lot of bacon? Oh, that's good. That's good. That one kind of burnt. Oh, man, you got you some bread on it. God damn it. You want some hash brown? Of course, just one though. Just one? Okay, you got your hash brown. They got some white rice. They got white rice? Yes. Oh, slap it right here, slap it right oh, here. You gotta put that, what you gotta put on your rice? That sugar. You gotta put that sugar on your rice. But why you don't eat sugar and grits? Man, you don't do that? Put it. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's you good. don't put sugar and grits all the time. Yes, sugar. You put salt and pepper. How do you eat salt and pepper? How do you want some spicy grits? They don't mean they spicy. They do mean it's spicy. Man, y'all comment down below if y'all put uh, salt and pepper in y'all grits or sugar. You want some crepes? No, I'm gonna leave it at the uh, pear. Okay, how about some fresh stuff? Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Y'all can tell me this food don't look good. Mm -hmm. Man, you can get you some yogurt. I don't want no yogurt. You need strawberry yogurt. Strawberry, yes. There you go. It's wet again. It's wet. I think, yeah, it's like juice. I, have to I want some fresh fruit. Ooh. What? 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 The air conditioner. 
Oh, you talking about, I ain't seen one of these air conditioners in so long. You feel the air? I feel it. We got breakfast. Kenny went to go get us some extra drink. I got orange juice, and he about to go get us some water, because y'all, like I said, gotta make sure you stay hydrated, because it's super, super hot. And baby. <laughs> that orange juice is good. It tastes like fresh orange juice. Freshly squeezed it this straight from the oranges. But y'all, I'm still trying to process everything. Like, how we get here? I know we work so hard. I know we keep talking about how we get here. It's just amazing. This was one of our dream vacations. I think of my man and my man, my man. Got that fresh water. Y'all, we about to chow down because we got to make sure we full for this excursion. How long the excursion? Like five hours? Excursion like five hours. Damn, eat good and enjoy our breakfast. Man, I just murked my breakfast. Except the French toast. French toast a little sour. The French toast was a little sour. Uh -huh. That's I why I ain't <laughs> These resorts be knowing what they're doing too. They have um, they have like a free, well not a free breakfast, but um, a buffet breakfast. All you can eat, you can't eat all that. I be thinking you can get two plates, and you really, you really can't. I can't do it. Somebody else probably can. A buffet that I do miss, that Bahamas buffet. We finna, we finna take a, we finna take a small little trip back to the Bahamas just to eat. The eggs weren't that bad. How was your eggs? That was pretty good. If they would have stirred it up a little more, they would have been 10 out of 10. It's mixed up with some cheese, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheese and wetness. We was walking over to the shop. They got shops right here and shops over there. I guess in a little while when they open up, we'll head over to the shops and try to grab like some um, souvenirs in my ears, y'all. Oh my goodness. It come from the ocean. It come from the ocean, cause I'm not gonna lie. They clawed up, I can't hear it. Not to say nothing like triggering, but I had like earwax. Like, I don't know what the water did, mm -hmm. but I had some earwax that was just like blocking my whole ear and I couldn't hear. Uh, yeah, it's, it was bad. Man, I can't hear. You know how you be on the plane, right? Mm -hmm. And your ears gotta pop. I feel like my ears need to pop. Oh my God. Man, you little. Look at this. Amazing. I ain't that little. I'm just five foot. You are little. You are not five foot. Watch your step, cause if you fall in them bushes, ain't no telling. Oh, that's an aloe plant. Oh, that, oh, what? that ain't no aloe plant. Oh, did you enjoy breakfast? I did. About to get ready and go back so we can get ready for our excursion. I'm excited for this. I ain't gonna lie. Those of y'all that know, you know what was in the Bahamas. Um, yeah. I was swimming with the sharks excursion and the pigs and something else that got canceled. They got canceled. And then you know when we went to Benimi Bahamas on the cruise, right? Mm -hmm. They canceled our jet ski. Yeah, so Bahamas, I mean, I do be a little scared to do excursions in the Bahamas because there be a lot of stories about like shark attacks and stuff like tiger sharks. See here they ain't got tiger sharks. The they most I done seen tip. was black tips. Yeah. But I still think some, you see the black tips or white tips that's dangerous. But we finna walk all the way back to our bungalow at the back of the resort. Oh man. Oh, look at that bungalow. That's Conrad. That's Conrad? I, I don't know. We, they ain't gonna be able to see that. Well I don't know which one is that. We just somebody's it's Conrad. But there's a, that's another resort. Mm. The whole island is full of bungalows. And then mainland, this is an exclusive vacation so the um the jet ski is supposed to be a tour around the main island around the whole island too yeah i think the whole island is like a big old circle around this mountain if we can we'll probably drive past somebody bungalow see check it out you know for the next time that we do come back because we're coming back four seasons. four seasons four seasons or the faint regions y'all ain't gonna lie four seasons i ain't gonna lie that's like a dubai trip that's like a um man that's grand Four seasons was nice. This nice too, don't get me wrong. Yeah, this is very, very nice. This is this is beautiful, but let's go ahead and rent to our resort. I mean, not our resort. The heat getting to me. Let's rent to our room so we can put on our clothes by excursion. We're all dressed and ready for our excursion. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go to the main reception to go wait on the boat to pick us up. Yep. And we finna get ready to head out. It's finna be a long day. You ready? So from our from our boat pickup ride that they finna come get us from, which is over there we gonna head straight somewhere i hope the sharks is not deep right i hope it's not we ask no questions like it's the water shallow yeah like where we going we don't know we just booked this excursion and we just ready to go so you ready oh i gotta ready. show them i gotta show excursion fit excursion, excursion fit. fit okay okay orange blue and green okay got the shades to match got a little headband on 
and a little jewelry. Okay, I'm gonna take this off in a little bit. So this is my excursion fit. You are gonna take it off when we go on the mainland, yeah. right? Yeah, I got my, I got the beach bag in there, so I'm good yeah, to go. Yeah, so when you go on your excursions, don't wear nothing crazy. This is just walking through the resort. Gotcha. Ooh, I thought I heard something. I thought you heard something too. I thought I heard something too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I'm gonna go. Right, let me show them your fit. Um, by the grace of God, I found this Bora Bora shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, this shirt compliments this location well. It's Bora Bora on that for real? I don't think so. But oh. it looked like it, don't it? Yeah. It could pass. It got the mound on there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Is there some on the back? Yep. It's okay. giving Bora Bora. Yeah, giving Bora Bora. And then these actually are the wrong shorts. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna put on some shorts that match this. Y'all gonna see it through, throughout the footage. And I got on um, these glasses that was really queer grenades, but she told mm -hmm. me wear them because we're going jet skiing. So got it on today, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And slides, we ain't worried about no slides because we finna be in the water. We got the boat passing by, you know what I'm saying? They jamming. Yeah. But let us go ahead and hurry up before we miss our excursion pickup.
protect the island. Shooting guinea rice. I'm gonna get in the other. When you have it, when you have it, the time when. Ready to go? Okay, can I have the go? How you eat it? Yeah. Everything with that, you do, you do like that. No. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. No, you take like that and uh -huh. you eat everything like this. Let me just take a little bit of it. I never had. So if you want to try the coconut juice, water, coconut water. I'll show you. They have some yeah. Okay. Like that. Uh, he's hungry. That's why he gets. <laughs> it's hard. I never had. Mm, I don't like the coconut. <laughs> don't you like don't like coconut? Uh -huh. How about this? It's different. Okay, what? Try is, this. What kind is that? That is the heart of the coconut. The heart of the coconut. How about the coconut it's, juice? It's like the marshmallow. Look. It's the heart of the coconut. <laughs> I like this. Good. How about you? What about you? <laughs> when I look your face, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Yeah, I've never had it before. Okay, you said it's the coconut juice. So, coconut water, it's this one. Fresh one from yesterday. So, how you drink? <laughs> so from yesterday. From today, yeah? Okay, you can have it. Oh, it's different. <laughs> it so is. this what this y'all y'all eat this like as a snack or something? Yeah. Coconut? We use that for um, like a snack like that. Mm -hmm. Or we use the coconut for um, uh, to cook with it. Really? You know the curry shrimp? Mm -hmm. Curry shrimp. You put some uh, whole meat, whole meat inside the whole cream. Mm -hmm. For us, 
we shredded the coconut like that for, to make a little piece like this. And then after, we squeeze it to have coconut milk. This is an electric freaking motorboard, surfboard. Surfboard. I ain't never ride. I ain't never ride. I ain't even never even seen one. I ain't never seen this either. I just know we finna do it. That hurt. My scraps hurt. Man, I need I'm, to balance out. We need to go get an ice bath or something. It's coming too good. That ice bath would feel so good on that skin though. I don't know mm -hmm. so much water since I've been out here. And my mouth still dry. I took that coconut. It got me feeling good. That coconut was pretty good. I, I can't some... believe I tried some new stuff. Barely. I want. I. I. I, I, I kind of regret not getting in there with the sharks, but it's cool. I let you have your experience. I always tell myself that I don't want to swim with sharks, so I let you have it. Look at Cody trying to get on the board, bro. I'm out here rocking. Ooh, let me hit that gas. Hit that gas, and I go. Let me stop. I hit the freaking flow. A man, boy, boy, ain't finna snow, and my skin finna turn yellow. Oh, oh shoot. Let me not hit them. Okay, Quita, come on, uh, come on. We finna go under this bridge. We finna go under the bridge, Quita. Oh my goodness. Hey, I gotta turn y'all off. Hold on. Oh, I just went under it. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is so cool, bro. Man, this is beautiful. Here we got the mountains over there. Look at Quita. She finally drove some. We got the core right here. This is what actually cut my leg up. It cut my leg up real bad. Look at all the fishes. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Look at what I'm on. Look at Quita. This is what cut my leg up. Oh, look at the little fishes in there. We should have came swimming over here. Let's go see this doctor right here. It's a doctor right here. Alright, let me turn around. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Clip this. Put it on TikTok. Somebody do something. The world gotta see this. Y'all, we is back. It is so freaking hot. The excursion was so much fun, but baby, it's hot. Look at Kenny Marie's face. Oh my goodness, he look like Patrick the Star for real. Tell the about your, your snorkeling experience. What happened? You almost, almost did what? Almost died. Man, oh my goodness. So he was over there drowning. The man literally told Kenny to put his thing in his mouth so that he can breathe under the water. We're just gonna jump into this because this is serious. I still can't believe I almost left here. Um, we're at a <laughs> coral reef, so like. If y'all don't know what a coral reef is, just watch Finding Nemo. That's where I was. That's where we were at. And we floating on top of the water. So I'm looking down. I'm like, okay, it don't look too deep. You know, me and Queen looking like, yeah, we got this. We could do this. Even though we don't know how to swim. We know how to swim a little bit, but we don't know how to swim for a long time. And that's just what this excursion was. Nobody told us nothing. So we put on our goggles and, you know, our little snorkeling tube. And I didn't want to put that thing in my mouth because I just don't know where it's from. So we I get ready. It. Ain't no rapping to me. Yeah, I don't, you better brush your teeth. Oh, my face hurts. Um, we jump off the back of the boat into the water i'm thinking we finna use the ladder but the whole time we got to jump and dive into the water so mm -hmm. i'm like okay this is finna get serious then our tour guide said do not touch the coral do not land on the coral do not step on the coral so that's another restriction of my swimming capability me when you i swim I just tiptoe. Okay, I'm the tiptoe. Get in the water. I start, you know, I'm walking on the sand and I'm floating, looking down at the coral. Mm -hmm. And we get about mm, probably 30 feet away from the boat. I look back. I say, okay, we getting out there. And I see Quita and Quita is on a buoy. Uh -huh. The buoy is the little floating thing that they throw out there in the water in case you need help. Quita's long gone. She's gone. I'm with, with the tour guide. Yeah, she's with a tour guide and another lady. So she's just out there, you know, saving grace. Now I'm going to let her tell on how she almost left here, quote unquote. Gene. I did. Okay, so I almost left here because my snorkeling mask kept filling up with water. And then I'm almost suffocated because this is my first time snorkeling, y'all. I didn't know how to use the snorkeling mask. It's like when I was breathing in and out, it's like I was like, I don't supposed to be under this water. You get what I'm saying? You got it. And I just start having anxiety because like it's like I was breathing under the water and I, and like in my mind I know I want I don't supposed to be doing it. And I almost had anxiety attack and almost suffocated, especially when my mask started filling up with water. It went through my nose, it got in my 
five. All you gotta do is lift your head up. You got the floaty thing. Just lift your head up and take your Man, mask off. Yeah, I think I got it on the go. Uh, you, hey, hey, you can't touch me, please. Kenny, Kenny, I had this thing on my head all day. <gasps> oh, my head right at the top. You done messed up. You gonna have to tell her you that that TikTok that she had her wig low. Yeah, she gonna have to have her wig low now for real. I'm finna go outside and balance it out. Back I ain't to my story. Yeah, tell your story. I'm finna go something in here. Uh-uh, I can't do this. Whole time, Queen have swear she was finna leave her. That was nothing serious. That is that is that happens to everybody. Water can get in your mask and water can get in your tube. But me on the other hand, so Queen is like 25 feet away with the tour guide and another lady sharing a buoy or floating device. And I'm back there and I'm looking under the water and it's starting to get a little bit deep now this is a little ptsd for me I'm, I'm i'm reliving this moment so bear with me i'm i'm still a little you know on edge i look under and there's two things in front of me it is a dip which the dip is like it's just like a cliff and it's like 30 40 feet it's beautiful but in my head i'm like hold on i got two options i can go through this dip or i can go through this coral now if i go through the dip quitter then got like 40 50 feet away from me so i'm i'm running out of energy because i'm i'm getting tired and my legs starting to give out and in my head i'm like hey bro like you need to lock in bro you're gonna leave here you're gonna drown and me sitting right there contemplating i'm contemplating for about like two minutes and that two minutes went by so slow because i'm like if i go through this dip i'm probably gonna go under and i'm uh, it's gonna be over with and then to the right it was some coral it was the uh, and the coral was you know high up almost touching the the face of the, the top level of the ocean and i'm like i could swim through this coral but i'm gonna cut myself up and i could be right there by quita and i can grab onto the buoy i could make it that far but if i go around this bend i'm probably gonna give out and i'm not gonna make it so i went through the coral and my leg got a gash I'm not gonna show y'all because it's probably a little triggering, but just know my leg been leaking up until we just not got back. And I'm just like, I, I keep, I'm not gonna let this go for like a, a little, a minute. I almost left here. Well, it's the, it's the thought in your head of, hey, I need you to, I need you to um, lock in, or this is gonna be it. And I never had no feeling like that. I mean, of course, as a kid, you know, I probably tripped down some stairs the wrong way and thought I was gonna snap my neck or something like that. But this was like a real deal moment. Like, bro, it's nothing you gonna be able to do. You in this all this water and if anything happens right i'm gone like you can't ain't no surviving no water you can't beat water you can't beat mother nature like people like the movie called everest when the people went up down mount everest they and they got stuck playing around on that mountain like that see now I'm, i can't snorkel no more unless I, my feet can touch the ground look at your eyes yeah i have i have a terrible case of sunburn jet ski was so yeah, jet ski was beautiful jet ski was oh my fun. goodness luckily and, it was last and you swim with the shark in the steam race for the first time it was beautiful. Quita didn't want to get in the water with me. I was watching from the inside, baby. Me and this lady, we was watching. We was like, why should we have to swim with sharks when we can just watch y'all swim with sharks? And I'm like, I feel the same way. Them sharks was not going to mess with you. Now that one stingray, he looked at like, bro, get out my water fire. Whip you. Yeah. Man, it's so hot today. We seen the Four Seasons. We seen Conrad. We seen St. Regis. It was beautiful. I'm glad we jet skied here because I feel like everybody jet skiing like mm -hmm. Miami. And I feel like Miami water is too dark to be jet skiing. So it, it's no, you know what I'm saying? All you going to see is sky. We can water. see clay through the uh, bottom of it. We seen what well, we seen some men, some manta rays. We seen some manta rays. Mm -hmm. We seen all the over the water bungalows. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I think we got the best one because the other bungalows, I think they deep. I think the yeah, water the deep water. around them. Then they all right by each other. So you got the tele. I think it's called the telepusis, telepasis. Got that one. Then you got Saint Regis, and then you got Four Seasons. So they all right by each other. This one is like private. Ain't yeah. no other bungalows over here. This is really really private and we got a good view of the mountain i don't yeah. know if all bungalows got i mean i'm pretty yeah, sure they all got the mountain. yeah they all got the mountain but like you sharing the view with somebody else like us the bungalow that we got we just see mountain nothing else yeah we went around the entire mountain it's like a big old circle and then we went to the what the thing called we went over there on the land y'all it was nice it's little a whole circle the restaurant food was good they need to be putting that food on the resort because that burger was man good. this resort food is great it's cool i think i'm getting the pool i need to I need to cool down. I want to get in the ocean and I want to get in the pool. Well, go on, get in the ocean, get in the pool. Come out here with me. You think about go like this? My tan will go. What is she? Quito, mm -hmm. you can't just tan just one piece of your forehead. It ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. You gotta tan your whole head. I'm tanning. I'm gonna hop in the pool. You wanna see me jump in? Go on, jump in. You gonna get in with me? I don't know. I'm stinging. I need to cool off. I'm stinging what, bad. What can I say? Cool it. Cool it down. Cool it off. <laughs> what? Yo, Kaden. Oh. You told me to cool it down, ain't it? Well, he wants you to. He wants you to blow his food. Yeah. Let me see how to water. 
You feel good? Rejuvenated. See, I'm scared to put my leg in that water. My leg get infected from that coral. Did you show them your scar? I didn't want to show them because it, it looked bad. Come on, let me show them your scar. You're going to have a permanent scar from Bora Bora. Oh my goodness. You done scratched your leg up on their home. Man, I'm stinging. You might well come and get in the pool and cool down. Y'all ever had my leg hurt? Too many oh. to get in the pool and have my leg up? Yeah. Can y'all, y'all, I know somebody done had some bad sunburn. I'm not used to this. This is my first time having sunburn like this. Who is a big kid? I'm not gonna know. Man, let me show them how it's done. He swear it. You swear it. Boy, you getting a beer belly, ain't it? No, it's, I still, I'm full from early. That water feels so good. Go on, show the people some. I'm really too long. You got a, you got a candy ball. And it feels good on my sunburn. Man, I'm scared of this water. I almost drowned today. Come on, that ain't that bad. Woo! <laughs> that boy think he doing something. It feels good, don't it? My body feels so much better. That feel good. Oh man. I need to hop in. Hey y'all come y'all come through the screen and jump in. Come on. Yeah, they finna hit a fat hour. Mm. Yeah. Oh I scratched my leg. What up. happened? I don't know. What if something bit me real fast? It looked like you cut yourself. You cut my leg up. Now I got a permanent scar. Oh, Quita. Uh, hold on. Let's get you some. It's running. I gotta go see the nurse. You think your nail did it? Yep, when I jumped off the balcony. Oh, my legs stinking. Yeah, boy, boy, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all better bring some back. How much I've been dripping? I don't know. Let's go grab us some water because, baby, we've been running through water all day long, being that it's so hot. But our station is right over here. I don't got no shoes on. I can't wait to see this beautiful sunset. I just know it's gonna be beautiful because the sunrise be real beautiful. And, baby, I cannot wait to see how it's gonna look. Kenny, oh, yeah, we seen the sunset yesterday. And we was like, baby, we gotta go sit by the beach and see the sunset by the beach. And also, y'all, I forgot to say my speech. I know Kenny Maurice gave his speech on yesterday, which was our anniversary vlog. I was tired, I ended up falling asleep, so I need to say my speech because I got something to say. I just wanna show my love to my man. I know he showed his love to me, so I can't wait to share it with y'all. I'm so glad they got these around the whole resort because you're going to need it. What time is it? It's, it's, I don't know. I ain't got my phone on me. I guess I do. Just say it's about 4, 5. It's about, say about 5, 30. I'm gonna say 4. Okay. It's like 4 o'clock. It's still hot. New York early. I said it get hot like around 8 a.m. And that's not normal. You know, y'all going to school. It's people watching this going to school and it's cold in the morning. Mm -hmm. We ain't felt nothing cold. The closest thing we didn't got to cold was earlier today when we was on the jet ski. Yeah. And the boat. And the little thing things that we did around yeah, the boat. Thing things. I like the little thing things. The little thing things was fun. Yeah. But we've been having a time. We've been having a time of our life. I'm not going to lie. This place, we're going to miss this. We hope we can motivate and inspire people so much. Yeah. Your bottle full already? I ain't even putting nothing in <laughs> you there. You just sit here talking. <laughs> y'all see, we in a whole different location. We know we're supposed to be going to the beach to watch the sun, the sunset, but y'all, we went ahead and got us a little beach house right here, as y'all can see. We just want to chill out of here for a little while, because that's what we told y'all, did a little walk. It'd be so far, we can hang out at the beach for a little while and get dinner over there. We'll head back to our room later on tonight. We in the garden. It's super beautiful. And we're going to start with Kim Ari. He's going to let y'all see the room. It ain't too much, but we got to go ahead and show y'all this room. This wooden key card is probably the best thing I've never seen. And you would think this thing don't work, but it do. The beach house, day house, beach house. Got it for a little while. She was having trouble trying to get us in here. Push the door hard. There we go. So this is our beach house. It's small because, like we said, it's just a little temporary little retreat, I guess, on the on the island. Um, right here. Watch out for the bugs now. Toilet. It's bugs? Because we're in the garden. Oh yeah, we're in the garden. Little toilet. Um, some nice little ventilation, natural. We got this sink. Um, big mirror. Some, they got toiletries everywhere. I just love it. They, they really take care of everybody when they come here. Nice little details. Then we got our day bed. If we just relax on our garden out here. Now I'm gonna let Queer Renee show y'all. Oh, we got a chandelier. Chandelier, okay. 
And now I'm gonna let Queen Renee show y'all probably the best part about this. Come on over here. So as y'all can see, we got this walk-in shower. I am gonna use this shower because like I said, we rented this for a couple hours. And then look, you can come out here, right? Mmm. And it's like a little mini backyard. So it would have been really, really nice to get some photos out here. Like this, you know what I'm saying? The shower, boom, boom. But it's cool. Go ahead and lock this up. And this is our little day house. I like it. And the AC is booming. I think it went off because I opened the door. No, it's still on. You oh. gotta stand like right here. Oh yeah, the AC. But we're gonna go ahead to the beach and then just relax. You wanna get some um some lunch or of something? Of course. I, I done got some. hungry again. That little burger don't move off from excursion. Mm -hmm. Let's go get something to eat. Which one try the chicken sandwich? I don't even know. I really don't know what I want. Wish they like a turkey sandwich. The the sandwich that was on that plane. Ah. But we're about to get ready to head over to the shops and see what we, see what they got. Hopefully they got some stuff that we can take back home a souvenir or something because y'all know we went to paris and they didn't have a they didn't have but we didn't find a souvenir shop out there in paris people selling stuff on the street but yeah you know we don't like to like carry a lot of our cash like yeah certain places but this place they got a little shop other than that the airport might have some i mean mm -hmm. depending on which way we come in yeah so we're about to head over there relax at the beach for a while like kenny said hopefully we can find something to take back home if not we'll just find like a board board poster or something on amazon just oh you already got a board board poster yeah hmm. I just need a frame for it. Yeah. You know, like a turk one. Yeah. It's so peaceful out here. It's not many people here. Today, I'm guessing everybody probably done checked out. We, I just talked to one lady. She was like, um, oh, you, oh, she was just like, that was the me to check out. And they about to get ready to head over to the other islands because they got like Maria. They got, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of different islands. And I guess people like come here for a little while, check out so they can head over to the other islands. But us, we just came to Bora Bora and that's it. And we going back home it's just so beautiful i cannot get over how tropical this look i feel like this is more tropical than the bahamas of course when we stayed at atlantis you know it had like a lot of palm trees and stuff too yeah but it's not it's not it's not it ain't got nothing on this yeah the boutique boutiques boutiques what you call it can boutique boutiques i call it a boutique and that's what it's called yeah you like a jungle man now all right i i, I blend it in yeah i'm my skin balancing out a little bit like my arm was here. a little i mean it's still a little timid but we're gonna get some coconut we need some you know what we should do what a milk bath you want to do a milk bath yeah They knew I was gonna kick Ken Butt into Nick Foe. They just knew. Like, That's how we played this, we cheated. When we played it, and oh my goodness. Look at the big sticks. I thought it was some crayon. I was gonna say, what in the world? Please be careful. It's like a spur or something. Yeah, I don't Spear. know what, what game that the is. They got Jenga. Yeah. Well, how you gonna play Jenga on the sand? Exactly. What you wanna do now? Wait till the sunset? Oh, oh that boy got a lizard on him. As y'all know, I did not give my six year anniversary speech. I know Kenny Maurice, he gave his speech. I was actually tired yesterday and I was just like, I gotta insert my speech somewhere. So Kenny, he's still in the room. I came out here to do my speech. So I just wanna start off by saying happy six year anniversary to us. It's been a long freaking journey. Me coming from Memphis, Tennessee. Kenny coming from Birmingham, Alabama. It's just been a long six year journey and I'm super excited that we still here today showing our love to each other. Every day just keep getting better and better and better every single time it's just like me loving on my man it's just a good feeling him loving on me is literally a good feeling y'all we don't get tired of each other we always making sure like our love is still there before anything even before like all this youtube stuff we make sure we good behind closed doors before anything what y'all see is our it's our love like we ain't coming over here to fake nothing we ain't coming over here acting like nobody that we ain't we is literally showing y'all us and we is being our authentic self so i want to just say kenny maurice when you see this i love you so freaking 
freaking much like you my everything and it's just crazy how we just came into each other life and just changed each other life like this it's so freaking crazy and we just been taking it like one day at a time it's like we still seeing progress and progress throughout the journey we maturing on a daily like we maturing day by day we turning into young adult when i met kenny he was only 19. i was only 21 years old six years later we here and i can't believe we celebrating our six year anniversary in bora bora i cannot wait until i cannot wait to see what the future hold for us i know in the future we're gonna have children we're gonna continue to travel the world we're gonna continue to grow we're gonna continue to grow as a couple it's so crazy how we able to do these things and i want to thank y'all i want to thank god i want to thank my man i want to thank myself because y'all we've been literally put in this work for six freaking years i always said that i want to come to bora bora i always said i want to go to maldives i always said i want to go to like bahamas i didn't i didn't expect it to come true like this fast i know it took time but six years flew past six years flew past like it was nothing and it's like the day finally came we finally here celebrating our six year anniversary here in bora bora last year we celebrated where did we go last year yeah this is our first big anniversary trip because we always celebrating our anniversaries back at home because y'all know anniversary is on valentine's day right after that is ken's birthday so we always take like a trip for his birthday we always take trips for my birthday and this is our first trip for our anniversary and i can't believe we here celebrating it in freaking bora bora us being young us being black it's just something about that i feel like we accomplished something that most people wish they can accomplish like coming here is in freaking insane so like i said i want to thank y'all so much i want to thank god i just love our supporters so much because y'all always show so much love to us so much support even though we started over on this vlog channel y'all know we come from the main channel and y'all know we was like okay we're gonna take a break from our main channel let's go ahead and do vlogs so once we started vlogs it was just like okay this is something that we really really want to do like vlogs is just like a different type of feeling for us and sharing our life and our journey is something that we love doing we want to be able to motivate we want to be able to inspire other people to do what we do vlog travel the world spend time with family it's crazy i'm sorry if i've been like out of words <laughs> on this trip that's because i'm just so lost for words for real because how do we freaking end up here and it's not the only big trip that we got planned for this year we actually got more trips planned after this so february we're gonna chill but march baby i just cannot wait i cannot wait i can't believe it it's like when you continue to put in work you continue to believe in god believe in yourself he always gonna show up and show out for you every single time and y'all know i always say y'all i'm big on manifestation i always tell y'all write it down put it in your notes put it somewhere like in your vision put it like somewhere where you can see it and once you do that you're gonna realize like dang we was right i love manifesting if i say i want to go get another car i write it down and it always come true if i say i want to travel here or there it always come true every single time and i just feel like there's just a blessing and just me that there's just something that i love doing for myself if i want something i'm gonna write it down and i'm gonna manifest it but it's crazy but like i said i want to say happy six years to us can you want you to see this just know that you're the love of my life you my man my man my man and i just love you so much i'm just so thankful to have you in my life thank you for always making me feel safe thank you for protecting us and thank you for making us always feel safe i just want to thank you so much thank you for being the man that you is continue to grow and be the best man ever like i just love you so much i couldn't ask for nothing better <laughs> <laughs> you're so sweet you're so kind you're just so loving inside and out i'm getting so emotional talking about this <laughs> But I ain't gonna do it. Y'all know Queen Renee would cry on the camera, but I ain't gonna do it. But showing my love to my man is everything. He always show his love to me. Now y'all probably don't see it much, but off camera, baby. We so in love with each other. <laughs> off camera, we love each other so freaking much. I'm gonna end this right here. Like I said, we got many, many more years to come. Six years. It's like the end, but we finna go decades with each other, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve years with each other, okay? I'm about to go ahead and head over to the beach. And I just hope y'all, and I just hope y'all really enjoy this vlog so much. Thank y'all so much once again. And I really, really appreciate y'all. And I know Kenny appreciates y'all so freaking much. So with that being said, let's go ahead and I'm gonna let y'all enjoy this beautiful sunset breeze of Bora Bora.
We just finished watching the sunset, y'all. It was so beautiful. We turned the camera off for a while because we inserted a drone shop, y'all, because we just wanted to take it in. Because y'all, it's like we've been working, working, working. So we want to take a moment to just sit back and relax and take it all in. And y'all, the sunset was so beautiful. Y'all, this morning, the sunrise, and it was such a beautiful we were just taking in the moment just enjoying bora bora because it's like we just been working 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 kenny just been over here all burnt up my poor baby i need to find like some home remedies or something to get him together we did google some stuff and they said just take a cold shower drink plenty of water mm -hmm. try and apply um aloe or some yeah. medicated cream i never i don't get this so yeah. you know this is our first time in this part of the world mm -hmm. usually we in the caribbean or something like that and you know we can get a little sunburn on probably like our nose or... baby there's some different type of sunburn my shoulders burn my nose burn my head it's like when i rub my head it burn. Tight. yes y'all seen that footage when kenny was trying to get me up trying to balance out my sunburn she, like her forehead it's, it's got a line yes from I think... her old skin yep it hurt so bad i was like i ain't trying to go home with this thing across my head like this i'm trying to balance it out that's what i was doing earlier on the helmet <laughs> Now I know we we probably didn't said some 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 stuff that went down today. Um, like we, we almost died. Yes. <laughs> I can't swim. I can't swim. But I can't swim. This is how I'm gonna let y'all know I can't swim. He was over there drowning. And then he, the man tried to get my attention. He was like, "Ma'am, ma'am." He was like, "What is his name?" I'm like, "His name Kenny." The whole time I didn't even know Kenny was drowning. Should have known I was gonna. Drown. This is how she should have known. I was standing <laughs> in one spot, just. I didn't know you was dog feeling. If I'm then dog he kept peddling, telling I'm you, He kept telling you to put the thing in your mouth. You didn't want to put the thing in your mouth. I didn't want to put that in my mouth. You was on the lower side today. He saved your life. Jet ski experience. This was our first time jet skiing. Kenny was driving the heck out of the jet ski. You see me? I signed the waiver and I knew for a fact like I wanted to drive the jet skis. But once we got out there in that water, baby, I'm just like, wait a minute. I am not going to drive this jet ski. I'm going to tell it. Oh. It is hilarious. We're driving, we're exploring the island. Um, she tell me, no, -uh, we too far. We're yeah, too far. Yeah, that's me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, bro, can you just chill? Yeah, that's please. me. She in the back, yelling in my ear. Okay. Why are we going this far? <laughs> no, I don't like this. And I'm just like, bro, don't do this. I'm bro. gonna get y'all to run down. Please, me? can we be adventurous for one moment? Yes, but listen, y'all, me on vacation, I want to feel like I ain't safe okay the man the god he was taking us so far out i didn't see the i didn't i couldn't see the i couldn't see the mountain no more i feel like once you got us too far out it's time to go back because we need to be close to the resort how you gonna be on vacation with me and you don't feel safe with me don't you think if but i'm here to for take our it, safety do, too but listen the whole time she's scared because the water got deep <laughs> He had us too far out there, y'all. All the way out there is heavy waves. It's like we was headed towards the heavy waves. I'm like, Kenny, he finna take us too far out. We already can't swim. Whole time I had, I'm like, bro, what if it's a mega done out here? Like, come on now. Do y'all literally think I'm just gonna let him take us all the way to the deep ocean? Yeah, I told Kenny, he about to turn his thing back around and let him, um. She didn't say that, y'all. She she was yelling in my ear, talking about some, take us back now. Yeah. Take us back now. Because y'all, the last resort on the end is Conrad. Once I couldn't see Conrad no more, I told Ken, I said, mm -mm. It's one big circle. Turn around. I knew exactly. You think I'm gonna hop on a jet ski and be in the ocean and don't know my whereabouts? Yeah, so y'all seen that footage. It was pretty good. Um, I told him to do not take me in the deep. Because y'all, the water got so black. And every time like a boat came, Kenny was eating the waves so we actually jumped up in there. <laughs> And she was screaming. If I would have, next time I we was screaming ski, like for help. I was just saying, ah, like I was having fun. I was doing that type of scream. Next time we jet ski or have an opportunity to jet ski, I have to have time for myself because I was trying to go up in the air and I got her on my back. If she hit that water, Man. it's over. We are not going to no more babies. I can't drive no jet ski by myself. Jet ski don't come no. with no seatbelt. I'm saying it was cool though. I'm just saying. Now, what if I was on my own jet ski and I hit that wave like this? I would have been in the ocean. Look at me. Look at me. Siri said it don't last for 12 hours. No, it don't. Let me see. Quita, what you finna do? I'm just gonna look sexy little skin color right now. You look real good. Man, I look like I'm in pain. Look at me. I'm not even the same color. She, My makeup don't even match. 
she is talking about she is not the same color when she got here. I am red. It yeah. looks like y'all ever seen Final Destination when that man when them when them uh, girls was in them um, tanning <gasps> machines. We That's what go, I look like. We need to go get balanced out in one of those. I'm not finna get in there. Let's see, can they see my head? Y'all can't even see my head though. Like, come on now. I gotta go home and get these braids out ASAP. We did another excursion. Well, um, oh, we did. Did y'all saw the swim with the sharks and oh yeah, stingray. I'm most definitely a land girl. Leave me on the land. I'm not getting there with no sharks. I know we on vacation and all, but baby, I'm gonna leave that to the aquaman. Oh my god! Still. Listen, what are you doing? You still tapping on my shoulder? Quita, come on now, please. To the excursion, Quita didn't want to get in the ocean. That I told, I gave her the option. I was like, you ain't gotta get in. Mm -hmm. But she was like, dang, I'm, I kind of was regretting not getting in. But at the same time, it was pretty cool. You get what I'm saying? She went the only one that did get in. Yeah, it was me and this other lady. She said, why do I feel like I gotta swim with a shark? I saw the same thing. I said, we good up here. We can watch from. We can watch out on a boat. So that's exactly what we did. And the man was super nice. He went in for me and got some good shots. So that's the only thing that about us. I had a great time, except one time when the um that big stingray came up on me. Did you touch it? No, all I thought in my head was the um crocodile man. I just didn't want to. Yeah, most of them stingrays then had a little stink the stink sting thing on it. I didn't know you that. You seen something with it on it? I seen one. It was about this long. Oh Lord Jesus! Imagine that just. No. Yeah, I'd be so like protected about him. I'd be like, make sure you be safe now. Stay safe because the whole time I really didn't want him in there with the sharks and stuff. But, you know, I got to get him room to make his own decision. So I was like, go ahead. I really didn't want you in there. I ain't even going to lie. It wasn't going to be nothing that you could say. Like, if you was, okay, like in Mexico, Quita told me not to get in this and everything. And it was a gut feeling like I shouldn't get in there. I told you don't get in there another day. But this one I had a pretty good feeling about it. So I was just like, okay, go ahead. See, I don't think about Mexico and that's cenote. I wasn't going down there with you, so I couldn't see what the men were doing. It was a hole. And you but couldn't you... see down there. I was not oh, going in there. Yeah. I told you and said don't go up in there because, baby, people is crazy. And you still got to be safe. Even though you're on vacation, y'all, please just be safe and watch our surroundings. If something don't feel right, don't do it. Could have been like me. I didn't feel right getting in that coral garden, <laughs> but I got in. You got in for me because I wanted to go snorkeling today. I didn't get in the... Uh, We'd almost left here. Yeah, we're about to go ahead and wrap this conversation up. We just want to go ahead and get out a rundown about our excursions for today. Thank God Kenny is still here with us. Let's keep Kenny in our prayers, y'all. He done got busted up on his shin with the coral reef. Y'all pray for him. I ain't his never seen... His skin is turning a whole different color, y'all. Pray for my man. Look, like, I might look rough and tore up and then and then almost left here. Do but you see me? This still been a 10 out of 10. I look toe up. I'm just holding it together. I look toe up. I don't even look like Queer Day. I just feel like I look crazy in the mud. I look ugly. I'm gonna leave it. I look ugly. I'm gonna have to turn this footage black and white because y'all, I ain't gonna lie. We both look ugly. And then Is people we ugly? In the, people gonna be coming to my son. Y'all ain't ugly. Y'all are beautiful. Y'all are, y'all are. I look so good. But I just. But yeah, we about to get ready to head over here, get this pizza, head back to the bungalow, and probably call it a night. Walking back to our bungalow, y'all, and we were just talking like, dang, are we really here? I know we've been saying it a lot, but like, it's just so crazy. Not only are we here, but y'all, we stay in one of the biggest bungalows. We told y'all that. It's only two here, and it's crazy. Like, look at the other ones. Like, they good, but baby, it don't top this one. This one is top tier. And y'all, we young, we black, and we able to do stuff like this. And it's like when we walk into our room, people is looking at us like, what they do for a living. Y'all see that camera? That's exactly what we do for a living. We manifested to come here. I probably had this in my notes for a while. I probably say since like 2019, 2020, like this has been in my notes to come to Bora Bora. I always want to come to Bora Bora. I always want to come to my D's. And I just feel like it's so crazy. We actually here. It's Black History Month too, so that black excellence finna hit hard this month. Y'all, if y'all wanna do something, make sure y'all always put y'all mind to it and don't give up. Don't let people down, y'all. Don't let people try to play y'all like y'all can't do something. If we can do it, y'all can do it. I always tell y'all, I come from nothing. And it is so crazy, like, from nothing to something. And I just, and I just wanna thank y'all so much. I wanna thank God. I wanna thank my man because, like, without him, we wouldn't be here today. And without me, he wouldn't be here today as well. So it's just such a blessing. So crazy, like, just look at this walkway. You cannot beat this. 
Did we even show y'all to walk around? We showed y'all to walk around back, but it's just so crazy. I keep saying like it's so great. I'm still trying to process everything. I'm trying to take it one day at a time. This place is amazing. If y'all want to do something, make sure y'all write it down. Put it on y'all visuals. Put it in y'all notes. Manifest. Like yeah, it's just so crazy. I never thought that we'd be here. This is an exclusive vacation. Bora Bora ain't just a place where you can just hop up and come to you gotta put in work to come here y'all all these rich people here i know they looking like what they doing here y'all we literally been the only black people here on this resort and it's only been about i hate it gotta be like that 20 people y'all we like to keep it real with y'all we literally been the only black people here even on our excursions even when we went to go see like the other stuff only black people we ain't seen no black people even at the airport the people just looking at us and i'm just like kenny why i always be like that like i want to see more of, more of us coming to places like this i I want to see more of the black people. I want to see us traveling the world. I know we gave y'all the room tour, but y'all ain't seen it at night. We got ambiance lights. Then we got this grand pool. I mean, come on now. The lights ain't even on. But let me turn the lights on. Y'all ain't seen the lights. Can't get no better than this. I don't know if everybody else pool got lights. Some of these bungalows don't even got pools. And we went all out. It's only six that got these. Sorry, I'll be having a whisper because we don't want to disturb nobody. Yeah. This um, island is very peaceful. Very private. Yes, so I've been having to use my inside voice. Can you be having to use this inside voice? So sorry, y'all feel like we've been whispering this whole trip because it's just so private. We don't want to disturb nobody. You know, people on their honeymoons, people got their children here. So, yeah, so we'll finish out them again. I just wanted them to see this. One more time. One more time. Because y'all seen it last night. We got to go and show y'all one more time. Jet skiing all out there. I wouldn't dare jet ski in no night. You, if somebody paid you a million dollars, no. you jet ski in the middle. No, cause the sharks come out at night. I literally just seen the shark in the water. I seen an eight foot black tip earlier. Y'all come to board board. Don't get in the water at night. Sharks in the water. They gonna tell people. Like when you come here, they gonna tell you what to do, what not to do. They told us don't get in at night. We weren't gonna get in at night. We would barely wanted to get in during the daytime because she be having like ocean anxiety. Mm -hmm. The man movies. said it's octopus in the water. At nighttime, but this is insane. Then we was on the jet skis out there. We looked over here at our bungalow and we was like, dang, we got this big old bungalow. We didn't have to get it. I mean, we just, you only live once. So, go big or go home. And this is a once in a lifetime um, vacation. Experience. Good job. You did that. We did that. Yeah. Sure, it's some more vacation. Also, can y'all comment down below some type of creams to put on my body? Because you can see I'm in pain. It's storming outside. It's literally storming. I was just gonna walk um, and go get me some water. But we were like, let's just go back. I already got some in here. And I was just like, it's fine. But it's been a super long day. I know y'all can hear it in our voice. It's been a long day. And baby, I told y'all earlier, I've been up since 5.30 a.m. Been at the time different, it's five hours. I'm ready to end this vlog. <laughs> it's been a good one, it's been a long one, and we hope y'all enjoyed it so much. So make sure y'all give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure y'all leave a comment down below. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. So y'all subscribe to the channel all the time so we can be able to go on nice vacations like this. And we really, really appreciate it so freaking much. It's subscribe amazing. to the channel basically for the journey because the journey, the journey is amazing amazing if y'all watch this sit down we literally get y'all a whole rundown on how we met and how oh that feels so good i know your scalp so red my whole body except my legs is red i don't know how that shower was hard tonight yeah this shower was very difficult i had to turn it on the lowest coldest pressure mm -hmm. and i ain't gonna lie it it, it, it made it it felt good when the water did it feel good when the water was running on it on my back not on the where i'm burnt it like if i go like this my nose hurt my shoulders like i need to be googling severe am i glowing sunburn we probably got severe sunburn no we seen that one person that man had severe i'm not gonna lie yeah but yeah like kenny marie said y'all subscribing for the journey y'all actually like that sit down we did we want to do more when we get back home like we told y'all comment some topics down below and we'll speak on it we actually gonna put it into like a little fun little you know what i'm saying give us uh, give us something to do instead of just sitting and just talking they like this sit down they ain't gonna lie they like no 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 no. we gonna sit down and talk i'm sorry but we gonna we should do some more though though like sit down talks and paint yeah oh you talking about like incorporate like an activity yeah instead of us just sitting there looking into the camera yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh that's paint and silk we're gonna have to move some stuff because i forgot our house is all white i'm excited to see how i'm gonna 
gonna look being at our house after we didn't got tanned and whatever this ain't no tan this is just straight yeah. up i don't know i never experienced this but i don't even know what to say you you are you ready to leave i feel like we've been here for a long time we have i think i'm ready to get back home we've been waking up early and then what time is it probably like it's like 10 o'clock on the dot so it's here it's five o'clock at home it's 5 a.m yeah if it's 10 o'clock here it's 5 a.m at home i gotta go to bed if i want to catch the sunrise we're gonna wake up we're gonna wake up so y'all we're gonna go to bed but before we go to bed i gotta get some eye drops put in my eye i'm gonna let oh, Queen yeah. do that because let me go ahead and do that real quick not me right now that. i don't need y'all to, to see me yeah panicking. i need to see you they need to see this they need to see this yeah i'm okay. gonna panic it's fine so when i'm putting McKinney eye drops in his eyes I gotta hold his head open like this. I gotta hold his eyes open. My head. It's fine, it's fine. Open up. I'm gonna drop it in there. He's so extra. See me, I can just go like this because I wear contacts and I can dip some in my eye. But luckily, my eyes didn't get red as he is. I guess he got sunburn in his eyes too. That's why I said he probably got severe sunburn. Because he's been hollering about he can't see. And that's the problem. Okay, so I know where it probably happened at. Remember when I was on the deck mm -hmm. and I said I was looking up, right? Yeah. The sun, so it's really weird here. So the hottest parts of the day is from like 7 a.m. to probably 11, 30, 12. Yeah. And then after that, it gets, it, it, it calms down. Yeah. So I was trying to fly a drone and I was staring into the sun and then I had to come back in and Queen, she was like, what's wrong? I was panicking. Yeah, I can't see. I got it. And I was panicking because I stared into the sun for like too long because I was trying to see if I could fly the drone mm -hmm. and I didn't have my glasses on and now look, my eyes been red for the past Let few them days. see your eyes. Open up. Open up. I can't. <laughs> yeah, he been, he been hollering about he can't see. He was all discouraged. I can't see. I can't see. That's why the man was like, sir, open your eyes up and you'll be able to see something. He like, I can't see. Ooh, all yeah. this salt water, your eyes and stuff. Yeah, Quita. I tried to wipe the, the wetness on my eye. Like, you know yeah. how I wanted to wipe it. My eyelids is sunburned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we tell him about that? Okay. Y'all, the other day, we don't know the other day yesterday. We don't know the other day yesterday with. Ah, eyelids literally got so hot. It's like when we were blinking, it was so freaking hot. I said, okay, I said, but we need to go in, relax for a minute, and don't even go outside because it was crazy. So, oh, my scalp. Red. Don't scratch it. Your eyes red, too. Oh, can you I got red. But we got to think about it, too. It is 5 a.m. at home. No, we're going to the doctor. You might got some severe sunburn. If your skin stop peeling and stuff and crack it open, you got severe. Ooh, they gonna, I'm getting wheelchair assistance in there. Oh, we need that so we can board first. Yeah. I'm gonna put it put on. Put me on there. Put my phone there so put I can me check. On there. I'm gonna check us in right now because you need special assistance. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Actually got some gifts. It say La, La Rona. That's how they La say Rona. La Rona. They so nice, so La Rona. Jamaica, they say what? Yeah, yeah man. man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. My face, I can't laugh too hard. My okay. Face. It said, La Rona, Mr. Ross, and Mrs. Reed. On behalf of our entire hotel team, we would like to thank you so much for staying at the Libor Bor Resort. We are delighted to offer you this souvenir and wish you an excellent rest of your trip. We look forward to welcoming you again soon. Oh my goodness, what did they give us? I'm turning this into a jury bag. Yes, what yeah, did they give us, babe? You do the one, so I don't want to see it first. Oh, they gave us some. Hey, okay, what's some shower gel? Shower gel. Okay, we taking it home. We taking this home. Souvenirs, but yeah. Oh, we gotta get a souvenir from the souvenir shop. It, oh yeah, we gonna get up there in the morning. But yeah, we about to get ready to end. Like we said, we hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Y'all have seen us, Jesky. Y'all have seen Kenny Orca with the sharks and the stingrays. Y'all have seen him almost about to drown in a reef car. Y'all have seen your girl almost went out the same way as her man. We playing around in the water. Y'all know that's something that we don't do. Mine was gonna be um, a fatality because we're nobody gonna come. Me. Oh, baby, I was coming. I'm not gonna play by my man. You gonna risk your life to come say no? You I stay. Would... <laughs> but yeah, y'all done seen it. Ah, oh, y'all see the beautiful sunset, the beautiful sunrise. We went to breakfast. Y'all see the blue water. What Beyonce said? Where the water so blue? Oh yeah, y'all also seen Kenny riding that jet ski. So it's been a long day, y'all. Here we 
get you when you when you get your house in Miami that you always talk about. Just park your jet ski on the water. I'm scared of Miami water. It's too black. But yeah, your girl voice is horsed out this world. It's been a long one. Like I told you, I've been up since 5 30 a.m. every single day. Let's go to sleep. You will talk yourself into a storm. So y'all, with that being said, we will see y'all in our next vlog. Peace. Peace.